those more purple bandidos. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Light Platinum. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we stopped the impending doom because Kyogre was fighting Groudon. They were fighting Arceus. We also met Steven Stone and Lucas, the gym leader here. He told us that in order to go into the gym, we had to meet him first at the lighthouse. So that is what we're going to be doing today. Let's make our way into the lighthouse then and go in search of this guy. I know that we're going to have a lot of battles coming up. I also want to thank you guys for your tips and suggestions. They have been fantastic fantastic so far and they really really have been helping me a lot okay so it looks like we have our first battle coming up make sure you guys give this video a like it really helps the series and let's go ahead and take on the first guy here Okay, so there we have it. There's going to be a bunch coming up. As you can see, they seem to be water types. So we're just going to keep on rolling with Shocky. And let's hope for the best here. Okay, okay. This is going by pretty quickly. Hopefully, these will be the last few battles here. So let's just go ahead and take another one of these guys on. Alright, I'm hoping that this is the last guy. I'm expecting it to be. I can't expect more floors than two here. Alright, there we have it. Let's make our way up then. And have we arrived? Yeah, very cool. So as you can see, we are finally at the top of the lighthouse. It's kind of different. The lighthouse is important to the entire continent of Ziri. It helps sailors find the shore. There's a little submarine here. It kind of looks like Team Aqua submarine from, you know, the Hoenn region. If you guys can look at it, it actually does look a lot like that. Kind of weird that they would throw something in, in this game like that. But alright, we have a couple people here. We have this strange girl. Ew, I really like the ocean. It makes me feel better. I feel really romantic. Uh, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to this guy. Looking out to sea, I feel a great power that strengthens my water Pokemon. Very well, Rodri. I will return to my gym. Come challenge me if you think you are worthy of my badge. Okay, so there we have it. We have finally been offered the challenge to take on this gym leader, and I'm kind of excited. One thing is creeping me out, though, and it's this girl. Why are you looking at me? Why are you looking at me? Why are you looking at me? Oh! All right, let's go ahead and run out of here. She, she seems to be really tranced in this whole romantic thing. So let's just go ahead and get the heck out of here and make our way to the gym then. And I, I'm actually pretty excited for this gym. I think it's going to be a little bit of fun. And mother fudger. Okay, we have one more battle. I completely forgot the fact that there was one more guy there at the entrance. Also, as you guys have noticed, this city seems to be surrounded by a beach. There seems to be a lot of sailors. There seems to be a lot of water Pokemon. So I wonder what kind of gym it's going to be. Probably fire. Am I right, guys? Am I right? No, it's probably going to be a water type gym. And I think we'll be okay. You know, Nurse Joy, I don't know about you, but I'd much rather take your uh, fiery hair any day over these water Pokemon over here. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and battle them. I'm going to take them on. I might come back. I might not, Nurse Joy. How do you feel about that? You would rather we don't come back. That's a good time. That is a good time. All right. Let's go ahead and get the heck out of here then. So, yeah, it is a water type gym. So, thank you guys very much for your tips. We are going to have Shocky up in front. Let's go ahead and enter Seanport City's Pokemon Gym. Take on its leader, Lucas, the water type trainer. And here we go, guys. Gym number three. Let's head inside and see what kind of gym it's going to be. Welcome to the C Seanport City Gym. The leader uses water types, so electric attacks will be useful. You would think these tips that these guys are giving us have been pretty dead on lately. They seem to really know what they're talking about. They seem to be really spicing up the situation, really letting us know what exactly is going on. You know, one of the things I've been thinking a lot about, I don't know why, I, this game, we were at like a pool area, we're at a beach area. Do you guys ever have those moments where a game really brings back a little bit of nostalgia? I think that being at the beach in this game so far reminds you a little bit of El Salvador. You know, when I was a kid, most people in El Salvador have their holidays in August. And, you know, in August, we would gather up the whole family and we'd rent like a beach house. And we would just, you know, get everybody there. So it'd be like your first cousins, your second cousins, your aunts, your uncles, grandparents. And we would just invite a lot of people, you know, to, to enjoy the holidays with. And I, being at the beach here in this game has kind of been remind me of that. I don't know why. I guess it's just a thought that comes to you. 
you know, as you get older, you start reminiscing on some of these moments. And I remember doing those things as a kid, and it, it was so much fun. You know, you get your whole family out there, and you guys are just like playing in the pool, going to the beach, those sorts of things. But one of the things that was my favorite, I think, would be when the sun was rising and the sun was setting. It is so nice sometimes to just see that happening because it's just one of those moments where you just sit there and you can just like stare at the sun and just relax and think about life and see you know how far you've come and how far you're going I think the beach is such a peaceful calming place where you can really just you know take a moment to take it all in just be like yeah you know what like I'm thankful to be here I'm thankful that this is where I am right now and that I'm alive you know it's one of those things I remember as a kid uh, everybody would usually like play board games at night and stay up kind of late but I would personally you know just go out there and just hang out at the beach sometimes and just stare at the skies and just see what it was like you know it was just kind of nice being out there by myself just staring at the stars and on a, like with like a nice cold breeze going through at the beach at night I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that you know because I've always grown up around beaches just being there at night is just so nice and different than being there during the day I think it can be a completely different experience and something that I had to do for myself I think it's just really nice to sometimes just be alone with your thoughts and just like look at the stars it's a nice place to just zone out and you can just really think about everything that's another thing that I would do in the morning sometimes I would wake up a little bit earlier than everybody because we would be there for about a week because that's how long the vacation goes for and I would just wake up a little bit earlier than everybody and I would just go out there and it was nice just to see the Sun rising you know as people were waking up I think those were the moments that really mean the most to you you know it's crazy when you stop and think about it how far you've come and where you are now and these little moments from your childhood that really stand out I think as a kid you don't really realize how important those moments are gonna be to you when you get older I know I personally didn't I never thought that you know playing through a game that was at the beach and the pool would remind me of these little moments that would bring back a little bit of nostalgia but it's, it's pretty cool that it does you know I think if you're young now if you guys are watching this and you're younger you need to enjoy those moments because honestly, if, I've, if I could go back, I've been talking to a lot of my friends. If I could go back and be a kid again, I would do it in a heartbeat. You should be in no rush to grow up. No rush whatsoever. Being a kid, I know sometimes it can be tough. It definitely can be. I had some tough times. But, you know, it's not the bad parts that you're going to remember. It's the good. You know, and being a kid sometimes is really cool. Not having to worry about things and just enjoying simple little moments like that. Like just watching the sunrise or watching the sunset staring at the stars, playing board games with your family, you know, eating some delicious food. I think those are the moments that matter the most. Sometimes I don't understand why people want to grow up so quickly when, you know, I wish I could go back in time and be a kid again. I think being a kid was fun because you're just learning everything. You know, you're, you're, everything's kind of new to you. Even like the games back then, to be able to play through some of my favorite games again for the first time, to experience them again like that, what I feel like most of us wouldn't give. Like, if we all have one favorite game, right? One of those games that you just, like, played with one of your best friends or, you know, you unlocked it with your family or your parents or something or you got it on Christmas so you remember what it felt like to unbox it and, you know, pop it in and play it. Imagine if you could just, like, completely delete that game out of your memory and, you know, someone gave it to you for Christmas again. We're like, here you go. And you just popped it right back in and you were building up all these new memories. And they were like, here you go. You get another shot at playing this game for the first time. I know that would be awesome. Who knows? Maybe in the future, they'll allow us to, like, delete games from our memories or something. And we'll be able to play through them. Who knows? We have made it to Sean Ford City's Pokemon Gym Leader, Lucas, the water type trainer. I feel we are very prepared. I think we're pretty good. Let's see how much shock he has left. He's got a bunch of sparks ready, so I think we're going to be okay to take on this gym leader. Let me go ahead and actually use... I think I have a super potion around here, though. Yeah, let me go ahead and use the super potion on Shocky, then. And we are ready to take on this third gym leader in Ziri. So what do you guys say we go ahead and talk to him? Here we go. What's up, dude? Hello, Rodri. Welcome to the Sean Port City Gym. Let's have a good battle. I won't hold back. Here we go, Rodri versus Lucas, Seanport City's gym leader, the water type trainer, the third gym leader we have took on. He's got four Pokemon ready to go, but I'm feeling pretty good. I feel that Shocky is going to do a really good job here, and I don't think this gym will be too, too difficult for us. You never know, though. It could turn out that this guy magically pulls something out that is going to be ridiculously hard that we're not going to expect 
you know, expect it to happen. We can't expect it to happen. Who knows what this guy's going to throw out at us. All that we know is he's got like a Seedra or something strong like that waiting to go at us. I think I like that about the game though, that the Pokemon that are coming out are really different and diverse and they're not the usual like, oh, here you go, three Pokemon that you probably expected. The Pokemon we've been battling have been kind of a good mix between generations and I've kind of been really, really liking that about the game. That's why I do want to build up a team that is going to have a bunch of different Pokemon from different gens because I think it would be really cool to mix and match and really, you know, show how crazy and diverse and huge the Pokemon world really is. This Tentacruel is actually messing us up quite a bit, though. I'm really glad we do have the less leftovers on Shocky, though. I think it was a really good call to at least keep it for this. Oh, yeah! All right! It flinched! We should be able to knock it out here, then. Let's go for another stomp. What do you guys say? This should be able to knock out this Tentacruel. And with that, ding, this guy's already down to two Pokemon. We've been kicking some serious butt. I also like the fact it was Kingdra, not Seedra, Kingdra. I also like the fact that the Pokemon are finally starting to level out. So as you guys can see, our levels are finally catching up to them, which is definitely a pro in, in more ways than one. I mean, it's good that our Pokemon aren't crazy over leveled, but it's bad because now our Pokemon aren't crazy over leveled and it might be a lot more difficult to defeat this game. You know, I really expected it to just escalate and escalate the difficulty of this game, but so far it's actually been a little bit better. I think the beginning of this game is a little bit tougher than where we are now. I think we're finally reaching that point where in any game, you reach a point where you finally start getting to the groove of things. You know, you're like, all right, you know, the team's starting to build. We're starting to get there a little bit. We're starting to figure out the pattern of this game. I see how the leveling works and you start easing into it. And I feel like we've finally started to get into that point, which I'm pretty satisfied with. I think it's really, really good that it didn't take us too long to get into the groove of things. You know, I do still need to train up our Pokemon a little bit, but regardless, I think we're doing a really, really good job. And your tips have been amazing. I've been told what I should evolve the Eevee into, and I'm considering all the different options. I still remember about the Larvitar guys, so I will probably be adding the Larvitar to our team. Uh, I'm just deciding on how to go about that, how much training I need to do. I'll probably be doing more training next time, since I am finally at the point where I'm a little bit underleveled. I was really, really hoping that Loki was going to evolve here, but I guess we just haven't received enough XP for Loki to evolve. So maybe next time Loki will finally get to evolve and we'll be able to continue on. I think that would be pretty solid if our Pokemon started catching up. About whoops, I'm still 50-50. I think if anything, I will probably train up whoops. Uh, I don't know if, you know, whoops will be a main team member, but as I said, I am going to be trying to build 10 to 12 Pokemon, so I would probably keep whoops around at least somewhat. I mean, we're going to need Pokemon to use Cut. We're probably going to need Pokemon to use a couple more HMs soon. With that, we come down to Gyarados, though, which is the last of Lucas's Pokemon, and I think we got this. I feel actually pretty good that we're going to do this, guys. Let's go ahead and knock out this Gyarados, then. We're pretty much at full health due to the leftovers, so I'm feeling pretty good here, pretty relaxed. Let's go for Mother Fudger. Did I really just miss that? Oh, mother fudge. This guy's going to KO me with the Dragon Rage. Calm down, Mr. Dragon Rage. He didn't KO me. We're good. We're good. I'm pretty sure that we should be able to KO him here with Spark. All right, guys. Come on, Spark. Take him down. Take him down. Take him down. What? He's got like one HP. Maybe like three HP. If this guy has a crit right now, I honestly don't know what I'd do with myself. All right. Time to risk it for the biscuit. And we are going to go for the Spark. Here we have it, guys. With that, we have gone ahead and took down Gyarados, and that gym wasn't so bad, right? That gym wasn't completely horrible. With that, guys, we gained a bunch of XP. Loki gained a bunch of XP. We defeated Leader Lucas. You're really incredible in battle, Rodri. Thanks, man. We got 700 for winning, and we have done it. You've earned congratulations, as well as the third badge of the Ziri League, the C badge. With that, guys, we have obtained the third out of eight badges here in the Ziri region. We have five more to go. We obtained the C badge. With a C badge, you can use the move Rock Smash outside of battles to destroy rocks that block your path. You can also have this TM. I wonder what water move this is going to be. It's probably Water Pulse. Yeah. All right. TM contains Water Pulse. Used to attack and fuse your opponents. If you use the power of the C, you'll have a great future as a trainer. 
And uh, the King Dress is just going to be like chanting its own name. Well, guys, with that, we have defeated our third gym. We're looking really good. We're actually looking really strong. And we're looking like a really good team. You know, we're starting to pull it together. We're starting to really step it up a little bit. So hopefully by the time we make it to the next gym, we'll have our Pokemon a little more fully evolved. A little fully more trained. And hopefully ready to go. I thought that guy was going to battle me for a second. I don't know why. I'm just like waiting for these Pokemon trainers. Since there are always so many battles to just keep on going. Well, we are ready to continue on here from next time, guys. So make sure you give me some tips. Give me some comments. Give this video a like. It really helps the series. And I really appreciate Appreciate all you guys are doing for it. So let's continue next time. Enjoy your day. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.